Hi guys, Bacchus Bruce got a good looking food and wine pairing here tonight. This is the 2013 Behringer Napa Valley Merlot. Uh, picked this up for just $7.99 at the Grocery Outlet in Hayward. Always a great uh, opportunity to try uh, aged wine. Uh, same wine as $35 on the website for Treasury Wine Estates. What a deal. And look at this barbecue. This is a Emile Villas Hickory Pit Barbecue. Bay Area legend has been around forever. This is from the Hayward location. Uh, this is the traditional original pork spare rib. Uh, they call it the feature. You get uh, literally eight pieces of uh, pork spare rib, which is basically a double order. About $24. Uh, you get a couple of sides with that. So I went with the uh, the coleslaw and the uh, potato salad. Very traditional stuff here. So uh, Emil Vila, if you've not heard of it, their story goes back... Uh, may be romanticized, who knows, but supposedly Emil Vila actually uh, got together with the local indigenous uh, people here in, in Northern California who uh, taught him the secret of barbecue and uh, the, the, the secret of the barbecue, the recipe has been uh, guarded uh, for many, many years. And uh, I know when I was a kid growing up here in Sunnyvale, I went to Mill Vila's uh, Hickory Pit every year for my birthday because I love the pork spare ribs and they are just as good today as they were way back then. So uh, really excited about trying this. Now the Behringer Merlot here, the 2013 uh, from the tasting video, we determined that it is a lovely bottle of wine. Uh, very, very uh, integrated uh, uh, fruit, uh, integrated tannins, showing extremely well. Uh, just a lovely bottle of wine. Great value at $8. So uh, now, <clears throat> ribs are really um, hand food. It's not necessarily something that we try with a fork and a knife. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and uh, and uh, and do it because we are uh, filming here, and I don't want to get my hands all dirty while I'm uh, tasting wine. So the uh, barbecue sauce, of course, is a little bit tangy. Uh, the uh, the smoked uh, uh, ribs are, uh, are are just falling off the bone. Uh, warmed them up in the toaster oven here. So let's go ahead and see what we have. I think it's going to be a wonderful pair for the Merlot. Wonderful, just charry flavor, kind of rustic, real terrific, a little sweet on the barbecue sauce, but absolutely wonderful flavor, and who is not a fan of pork spare ribs? I know uh, very few people who uh, don't love them because they're a treat, so let's see how it goes with the wine. And the wine is very big structure, as we were talking about. Firm tannins, uh, full full California style Merlot, uh, which is really ripe, fruit forward, uh, in your face, and it's a perfect match for this pork. Uh, the spare ribs are really rich, as you can imagine, really fatty. Uh, the acidity in the wine actually does a wonderful job of just cutting right through that. Um, doesn't seem to have any issue with the sweeter tomato, uh, sweet, excuse me, sweeter barbecue sauce. Um, the the wonderful uh, uh, black fruit just jumps right through, and um, it's just a match made in heaven. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and enjoy dinner tonight, and um, thanks for stopping by. Budget Wine, Bacchus Bruce, see you in the tasting room.